just picked up my Milwaukee nailer. You know, you get in the zone, you're like, bing, bing, bing. Pew, 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 pew. And you kind of want something that's gonna keep up with you and gonna take a bit of a hammering. So. Things. What a flex. <laughs> Just a couple. So I'm a wee bit of a fan of Milwaukee, but I'm also got Makita gear and I've got a um, Hikoki drill and I just got a DeWalt table saw. So by no means am I like, right, this is the one true brand and you have to stick to this or you're a loser. <laughs> no, how do I say that? Unless you've got AEG. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're gonna cut half of this out. Remember that clip when I cleaned my garage? Yeah. I need to do that again. <laughs> Yo. Just picked up my Milwaukee nailer. So I do have, it's actually good, it's a way to get fixed, but I have a Hilti nailer, which is broken. It has been broken for a while, and I was like, right, do I get the Hilti nailer fixed, or do I splash out and get one of these? And then it came on sale at my local ITM and toolbox top up. So this is definitely not an ad for Milwaukee. I've paid for this with my own hard-earned money. Digging trailer, loads of dirt. Boom. So let's open it up, eh? Ta da! That's it. Got a soft tip. And it's pretty weighty, uh, but I knew that. So, nailer on thing. Probably should read this. But why did I pick this? Well, first up, you know, I wanted something other than my Hilti. My Hilti's been awesome, but I was impressed with the like depth of nail and had been weighing up a gasless option. We should confirm that it's gasless. Yeah, I've been weighing up a gasless option and it was either the Hikoki or this. Obviously, I couldn't go for green. Uh, jokes aside, I'm on the Milwaukee platform. I've made a video about how I kind of accidentally ended up on this when my boss got us drills as a bonus and I've been on it ever since. And I've jumped onto the Makita platform. From what I've heard, the Makita gun is not the greatest. I like the hook in terms of being on a hanger, on framing. Got the thing here, we will put the tool belt on, eh? Builder Boss, rare tool belt. What's on Insta today? Oh yeah, check out Facebook. I'll look on staff.co.nz, life of a builder. Like, just drive around, drink coffee, phone calls, texts, it's a dream job. Don't really put the tool belt on that much anymore. So looking for something like that. Do a, do a spin, model it, do a walk. <laughs> I think that would actually probably be better than one of those hooks. I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty heavy. Compared to the PAS load, it is a pretty heavy gun. We should compare this to the PAS load. So I got this for $650 New Zealand. I think plus GST. For comparison, the Paslo Frame Master is going for about $900 New Zealand. Mm -hmm. 
So the three things I liked about this is that it's got the power to drive the nail in and you can see that up there where you're using LVL framing and it's still sunk the nails in nice and good. It's fast as well, like real responsive in terms of like, you know, you get in the zone and you're like, beam, beam, beam. Pew, 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 pew. Nah, <laughs> nah you, you know how you get in a flow and you're like, bam, 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 bam. And then you kind of want something that's going to keep up with you and going to take a bit of a hammering. The other thing is that it's got no gas. And so it's just one less thing to worry about. The one drawback that I've noticed about it is it's already reasonably heavy in the hand compared to the other guns. Luckily, I'm not on the tools all day, every day. Otherwise, that would probably be a bit of a turn off for me. True.